Start whenever you're ready. Okay. So if, if you have an addiction to alcohol, you probably won't have an assignment witnessing in a bar. Right. Or around a bar. Why? Because you would be volunteering tempted. Tempted. to be tempted. Yeah. It goes. This, it's the same way with purity. If you are around people who are actively talking about, um, uh, you know, being with this guy or being in this relationship or this ex and having this many boyfriends and having this many comments on pictures or whatever, it will taint your mind. So you have to put that boundary up even with women um, in a social setting because a lot of times they will be talking about, oh, their marriage is so good and their relationship is so good and whatever. And it's like, yeah, it might be on social media, but behind closed doors, it's a whole different story. And, and and realizing that purity is not just a physical act. Ooh. It starts first in the mind and the heart. So good. Um, if you have pure thoughts, it's easier to be pure. If you surround yourself so with, with like-minded uh, Christian people, it's easier mm -hmm. to be pure because they're not sitting there talking about things that would tempt you or make you feel down because you're not married. Exactly. Um, they're encouraging you and lifting you up and appreciating you for who you are and where you're at and not trying to change that or rush the process. Um, but they, they see the God in you and they appreciate the God in you and they appreciate what you're doing. And so, you know, making sure that you are surrounding yourself with the people that, that God is meant to put in your life, mm -hmm. making sure that you are being held accountable by mm -hmm. those people and being open to that accountability. Mm -hmm. Um, and realizing that you don't know it all and you can't do it all on your own. Hallelujah. Um, and then those boundaries, those boundaries are so important. Um, because if you don't have boundaries, it shows that you don't have enough respect for you or the plan that God has for you. Talk about it, sis. And how are you going to be pure if you don't have respect for what God has said about you and his word? The promises wow. that he's spoken over you. When you were formed in your mother's womb, he knew you. He knows you by the very hairs on your head. So if 1,672 falls out, he knows exactly which strand falls exactly. out. If his eye is on the sparrow, how much more is his eye on you? He knows your desires. He knows your, he knows your mistakes. He knows your past or whatever. But he's forgiven you for it. And just like he, you know, he casts your sins as far as the east is from the west. He sees you for who you are and who you're purposed to be and who you're destined to be. Not by what you've done or, or the thoughts that have entered your mind or whatever. You can be set free in that. But you have to take the initiative too to put those boundaries up and make sure that you're being held accountable and have that community around you. And go to church. Go to church. Do not forsake the assembly of the saints. Go to church. A good church. Go to a church. And it, the church doesn't have to have this kind of lighting and this kind of stage and this kind of youth group and this. Uh, go to a local church, a local body that encourages you, preaches biblical sound doctrine. And, and, and see where you can serve. You would be surprised at how your I'm servanthood you. can help your purity. I'm telling you. I'm because telling when you, and especially with women's ministry too, the more you're around women who need counseling or need that word or they need that prayer, yeah. you see, oh Lord, thank you. Thank you for creating purity. Thank you for being intentional and making sure that we knew about purity. Yes. Because you don't want your daughters to suffer because of a desire. I'm telling you. And acting on that desire at the wrong time. And your timing really is perfect. Literally. And it's perfect in marriage. It's perfect in singleness. And there's a reason why the Lord wants you to seek after him with your whole heart. And I'm not saying that you can't seek after God with your whole heart when you're married. But you also have this new person in your exactly. life that you have to create time for. and exactly. that, So it's not just easy like, I'm just going to take a trip and, and get right. filled up or I'm going to go on this mission. I, you know, you have a new person to take, to, to take into consideration. You have new bills. You have new, um, you know, you have new insurance plans and whatever. It's like, there, but that's just real things that you yeah. have to deal with and take into consideration when you're married. So purity is a gift. It's not, it, just like singleness, it's not a death sentence. It's not, it's not God punishing you for having a desire. It's God pruning you to express that desire at the right time with the right person. Because he doesn't want you going from person to person. Ooh, hallelujah. Creating these soul ties that Jesus. are just going to draw you away from him. Yes. He wants you to chase after him. He's seeking you and you should be seeking him too. Exactly. And I think that's kind of the goal of purity. Is to make sure that you are being refined by the word of God. Yes. And that you're standing firmly on that. Yes. And allowing God and the Holy Spirit to just lead you through those times. Hallelujah. 
and not view that season as punishment. Mm-hmm. Purity is a beautiful thing. So beautiful. And, and purity can be walked out. It can be lived out. And even if you've made a mistake and you're like, you know, I'm not pure. I, I'm not a virgin. I'm not, you know, I, I've done these things before marriage. God can redeem you. God can save you. God can forgive you. And he wants to. But we have to open that door to allow him to come in. Amen. Because as long as we keep all those little boys around us and their phones, uh, their phone numbers and our phones and those text messages, we're not allowing God to come in. Exactly. It's one or the other. You cannot have both. Yeah. So be sure that you have people that will love you and, and steer you towards Christ and push you towards Christ and hold you accountable and respect yourself enough, respect your future spouse enough, and respect God enough to hold purity as one of the most true, loving, genuine virtues. And I just want to um, just talk about what you just talked about. I just love, I just love this girl. I don't, whew, thank <laughs> you, Father, for this friend that you gave too. me. I just love her, y'all. I'm serious. <laughs> I want to talk about what you just talked about with the, um, um, if you messed up, if you slipped mm-hmm. up, if you backslide, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, in terms of that, ladies, I really want y'all to hear this <clears throat> because God was saying this as you were ministering, Molly. He kept saying, like, tell them that they are forgiven. Like, don't hold on to the guilt. Like, don't hold on to the shame. You don't have to walk Absolutely. in. You don't have to walk in like, well, Lord, I really wanted to save myself, but I, I just got caught up. I went to a party I shouldn't have gone to, and mm-hmm. I drank punch and it was actually tequila and next thing yeah. I woke up and yeah. I'm looking at Johnny and I have no bra on and I'm like, oh yeah. God, like my purity is gone. And I, I didn't, I didn't ask for this. Like I didn't send for him. Like yeah. where did he come yeah. from? Like who sent you? Like yeah. you're not Jesus. So why are you in my bed? Mm-hmm. So for those ladies that really like sis, like I hear y'all, but girl, I didn't yeah. mean to. Like yeah. this was not something yeah. that I purposely wanted to do. God forgive. Once Absolutely. you, once you openly confess with your mouth. And you say, God, forgive me for I have fallen short of the glory. Like, I did not mean to dishonor you, Lord. Like, I apologize. Like, I'm coming to you, like, humbly and just, like, yearning. Like, Lord, please cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Sis, he hears you, sis. Yeah. Like, you have to walk in and be like, am I going to get my Boaz, like, soon? Like, don't Listen. walk in trembling to fear. Like, no, no, no. God is not giving you the spirit of fear, but of power, but of love and of a sound mind. Absolutely. So please don't feel like um, you have to walk in shame or walk mm. in um, this despair or, or to be depressed. Like, God, I didn't mean to. And all the women out there, because I actually have gone through this and I'm not saying this for pity. So please don't come in the comments like, please, I'm so sorry. No, no, no. God, God, is, God is my healer. But for those of you like me that have been molested or raped Absolutely. or um, have dealt with any incest um, and you didn't ask for that, the enemy, there was an open door that the enemy allowed, that was allowed in from a generational curse um, or just the wrong place the wrong time or yeah. alcohol once again or drugs or there was human trafficking or whatever it was within the family I'm talking about or a stranger or, you know, in the day where you were a stripper and you just thought that that was okay to do because your mom yeah, did it like, and um one of the dance you know you're doing a dance and it turned out to be a not so good dance um for you like because i i oh father touch their broken heart mm. i just feel the pain radiating through the ways of this phone like i know it's a device and i just feel your pain know that yeah. god loves you like i a lot of you guys know my story from like um one of the videos but i was actually raped one week before my wedding day and um i i know what it's like when you have saved yourself and you you know you're like lord i'm not even trying to you know be with billy bob like i'm just trying to live my best life with you you know and then you um get to this place where you're like yes god i went for you i'm not doing nothing you know i'm not you know i'm not doing anything i'm not show them you know anything you know cleavage or anything I'm, you know i'm being modest and yeah. it just happens and you're like oh, i'm so scum now you know mm. you feel like you're un- unworthy you feel like you're not valued you feel like you are disgusting i have been there girl I felt like I was the lowest scum on the earth because I thought, like, dang, if I didn't go to this surprise, I didn't know about it, this surprise bachelorette party that was thrown for me at, if I just didn't go, you know, like, 
I wouldn't have, you know, the woulda, shoulda, coulda, the what ifs, the, you know. It was all a part of his plan. The attack, the abuse was not sent from God. Yes. But the redemption and, 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 and the restoration yeah. and the forgiveness of sis forgive your abuser you can't walk mm. around this earth with unforgiveness that is one of the most difficult places to be in and yeah. i am i am with you Tra hear me i am not coming for you to be like you need to you know get it together in two seconds no no, no. take the time to heal communicate there's nothing wrong with the therapist like I, there's nothing wrong with i talk to people like there's nothing wrong with that you're not crazy, okay? Um, you need to release that because God wants all of you. Yes. He wants to come in you. And that's another thing. Just because you are physically um, abused, that soul tie can be wiped out from you as you Amen. give it all to God. Yeah. Because you want the Holy Spirit to impart in you so that he can be your personal trainer. Amen. And those weights can be lifted off. You know how we go to the gym and we want wow. you know, to get them weights lifted off. We be working, we be sweating. Yeah. We be like, girl, I want, I want to get my body right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> For the summer days, you know. The Holy Spirit can be our prayer. I love this pastor that she preached on, you know, her the personal trainer for us as our Holy Spirit. And that's true. Absolutely. Because he, he, he removes the weights off of us, the baggage weight. that just comes off because he prunes us, he guides us. He leads us back to the throne room, the grace of God. Mm. He, gives us, he gives us that reminder that we are in Christ Jesus like we are not our past like God will propel you into your purpose through the pain that you have went through yeah so for all my sisters out there just to touch on that because I know and I know that even you hear me you're like sis but you don't understand I understand sis it's okay to go through your different parts of healing you don't have to rush it you don't have to have it all together in a day Take that time to heal. Go on a, you know, trip with your girlfriends to just get encouraged and edified in the name of mm -hmm. Jesus. You know, take the time to just say, Jesus, I'm not okay. Take the time to cry. Take the time to, you know, just sit in your bed and say, Lord, I don't feel safe. I don't feel like yeah. I can work amongst... I've been through... I didn't feel comfortable, like, working around guys. I was like... I told even my husband, I said, babe, I'm scared of you. Like, I, I legit... I had to... You gotta yeah, be real. Yeah, you have to be that's transparent. That's real. You have to say, like, pastor, you can tell your, you, I told my pastor, I said, I am terrified to be around you. Like, I'm just so, like, scared. All of my, you know, you have to be vulnerable because yeah. my pastor was so gracious. He was like, Jaleesa, I'm going to stand back here because I want you to know that I love you. Like, I am not trying to offend you or scare you. Like, I love you. I'm, I'm, I'm not saying that because, you know, he made me, he made it very aware. He was like, I'm saying this because I generally, like, have a love from Christ for you. Like, I don't want you to feel uncomfortable. You know, he said, is it okay if I hug you? Like, it was just one of those things where yeah. you just had to open yourself up to say that because people can't read your mind, sis. They can't. Absolutely. They can't read your mind, sis. And, and trust me, it takes time to get there. Don't, don't feel like it's going to happen overnight, sis. Um, it's a process. It's a process. And I, trust me, y'all, like, I'm not just here, just sitting here just saying this. I've lived through it. And I understand now why I did, because there's women that need to hear this. They need to hear that, sis, it's okay to not be okay. Yeah. It's okay to, to lean on your sisters, lean on, lean on your friends. Say, sis, today, I'm not okay. Yeah. Like, today, I'm freaking out. I'm in my house. And I know I've lived here for X plus years, but sis... I'm not okay. Mm -hmm. I'm locking my doors like repeatedly. Like I'm paranoid. I'm a little bit like you know, like look at my window. I don't want to get an Uber, sis. Like I'm. Just, can you pick me up? Can you take me to church? Like I don't want to drive. I don't want to put my key in and somebody's behind. You know. Yes. I went through that for a good three months. I was just like flinch. I was just like all mm -hmm. the time. It was just church members just wanting to. You know how they be like fellowship. Yeah. They like hug your neighbor. You know, and they're like, and I'm like, and they're like, oh, Jalisa, I'm sorry. You know, they're like, I'm, I'm, I wasn't trying to scare you. Be open, sis. God knows your heart. He Absolutely. knows in your mind. And he can help you be set free from that shame, that guilt, the life of the enemy that you are a mistake, that you're that it was your fault. I rebuke that in the name of Jesus. Absolutely. It was not your fault. And my pastor taught me this. When you when you repent to the Lord of you know any thoughts that were not like you, any thoughts that you wanted to take your life, I've been there too. And he thought that, you know, it just wasn't, you know, godly. And when you repent to the Lord fully with your whole heart and you give that 
entire scene you don't want to relive it don't relive it sis but you know you do want to give that entire scene that took place in your life to jesus fully she told me she's like Lisa, you're pure yes you're pure yes you're pure despite what happened to you despite what you encountered despite if you even have nightmares despite if you know if there's a co-worker or a, a male cousin or um, even like one of your girlfriend's husbands or you know, whatever and like you yeah, they're approaching you and you're like Are they gonna hurt me? You know, you're you're thinking that you know, replace your mind on good things. Like I love what you said, Molly, about you know, just using the word of God as 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 your as your crutch. Like use the word of God as your way to heal through it. Because God is with you and what you went through is not little. Like your story mm. is not small. You're you're not minute. Like you, you're you're not falling by the wayside. You know, like you're. It's not. It's not that you were um, forced for this to happen. Like God didn't say, okay, at this point in time, she's gonna be right. No, 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 no. Yeah. It's not like that. It's Amen. there was a generational curse that occurred. There was a lie. You know, there was um, a plan, a scheme, a plot from the enemy that he wanted to use that to think that would take you down, but it only just fuels the fire in you so that you can let the Holy Spirit impart in you so that you can be that encourager Absolutely. for someone else. So I pray that that encourages you. And I'm going to just leave the scripture. I'm going to take it back to Molly because this is my girl. But God gave me the scripture verse earlier when we were talking about what to think on. So God gave me Philippians 4, 8, and he was... Um, just meditating that over my spirit, so I'm gonna read it really quick. It says, Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, mm -hmm. whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think, think on, on these, these things. things. Yes. So I say that to say to you, sis, I am here for you mm -hmm. i understand you i am i am here to say i care about you you are not Amen. a mistake like i'm girl email me girl like i reply yeah. back like instagram you, i will check my dms i reply back like Same. i am here like for you i put them below for y'all but mm -hmm. we're here like yes you're not alone you're not a all right, so anything you want to add or anything uh, about Yeah, I want to add to that too. Um, with Julissa sharing her story and everything, like if there was something out of your control that happened to you, realize that even though it was out of your control, God is still in control. Thank you, Lord. Thank and you. I know it sounds churchy, Thank and you, we Jesus. probably heard different variations of that throughout right. time. Right. And it doesn't solve your problems or, or heal your wounds, but it does give you a perspective of, it doesn't matter what happens. It matters how you respond to it. Mm -hmm. If you think that God is the one doing these harmful things, you're going to have a hardened heart towards God. Exactly. It wasn't that God did that to exactly. you. And it's not that he even allowed it exactly. to happen to you. Thank you Lord, it's me. that somebody was sent by the enemy mm -hmm. to try to ruin you. Yep. But God saw that what happened and he's taking that to use for your testimony exactly. to further his work to build your strength and exactly. build your faith and i want to say this too it's not that if you are dealing with those with with the, with trauma or something that you've been through in your life counseling is okay girl i'm here for it there is no there I'm should be no I love their stigma i'm here for it for going and talking to a professional christian counselor or whatever it is they are lit. <laughs> yeah i mean they, they can lit. help you through that they and and sometimes too like i've heard this said like i don't want to rely on my pastor to give me counseling wow. because he's dealing with a lot or she's That's dealing with good. a lot too and i'm like well yeah I, and i understand that and i think that you can get like wise biblical counsel from them but if you want to take the initiative yeah. to get that counseling, other counseling. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, it doesn't necessarily speed up the process, but it does give you uh, someone else to talk to, someone mm -hmm. else to pray with you, someone to give you another that peace of mind. Yeah, yeah, peace of mind and and the reassurance that you need that yes, God loves you. Yes, God sees you. He knows you, and He does have a plan and purpose for your life. And it doesn't matter what. And and we were talking on this too, like mm -hmm. whatever was taken from you. Ooh, thank you, Father. God already has better to give you. 
Hallelujah. So that whoever it was that hurt you, mm -hmm. God has better in store for you later. Yeah. I, I'm a witness of that. <laughs> and it's, it's funny because all of those, the hardships that we go through, whether we put ourselves in them or whether they happen to us, whether it's in our control or out of our control, God can take the very worst of what we've done uh -huh. and use it to the best advantage of our future. Uh -huh. He can turn, uh, and Kim Pottier says it, pain into your pulpit. Ooh, that's so good. Yeah, yeah. And and there's a there's not necessarily a reason why someone hurt you, but there's a reason why you're healing from it. And in yes. my opinion, in my opinion, I think there's three different stages to that grief or that trauma. Mm -hmm. Feel, yep. deal, Ooh. and heal. You have to feel her. your emotions. You have to feel your emotions. That's so good. You have to feel your emotions. God's not scared of your emotions. He created them. Exactly. He's not scared of your hard questions. You know, he's not scared of you having doubts and fears. He can work with that. Mm -hmm. You know, if he can work with Moses, if he can work with Esther, if he can work with Mary, exactly. if he can work with he can work with you. And so it doesn't matter what your environment looks like or your circumstances look like. He can work with you. But you have to be honest with him and say, Lord, I feel a certain type of way. Right. I feel this way. I, I feel hurt. I feel betrayed. I feel. And he will understand that and guide you through it. Secondly, you have to deal with that. Mm -hmm. That's going to counseling. That's going before the Lord in prayer. That's seeking wise biblical counsel from other friends and family. That's going to your pastor. That's going to church and getting that word that the Lord has you know, for, for a corporate body. But that's also going to the Lord in your one-on-one -on -one time too. But you you can feel and then you have to deal with that. You have to be honest with yourself and say, okay, this is how I feel, but this is how I want to deal with it. Be intentional in creating a plan to get yourself set free from that. So and nice. you can find that freedom in the Word of God. You can find that freedom in the one-on-one -on -one time with the Lord. And you can find insight and wisdom through the counseling and through support from your friends and family. So feel, heal, or no, Feel, deal, and heal. The third one is you will heal. By his stripes, you, you are, are healed. healed. Now, that doesn't I mean that, <laughs> that doesn't mean that it's going to be perfect or that you won't think about the trauma right. or that you won't get emotional That's about right. the trauma or whatever because what you've gone through has been hurtful at times. What you've gone through has been bad at times. What you've gone through has been, you know, a shock sometimes. And sometimes you're, sometimes you can't help but to cry. Sometimes you can't help but to Hell just yeah. say, Lord, I don't know why this happened. I mean, you, it could be something that happened 10, 15, 20 years ago. Right. And then one day it just hits you out of the blue. Like, God, like, you know, I, I have to, I have to get through this. I have to get a healing and I have to get delivered from this, you know. And, and sometimes even retelling your story, you may say, well, Molly, I'm healed from it. And I don't even think about this person anymore. I don't think about this relationship anymore. Sometimes it's just retelling the story and then saying how God has That's moved good. from each different phase. That's good. It can make you emotional in a new way that maybe you wouldn't have been. It can make you appreciative for God, maybe in a way that you wouldn't have been before your past hurt. So good. So feel, deal, and heal. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Praise God. This girl right here, <laughs> I just love her. I love her. Oh, I love oh, you. Oh, my God. This has been so much fun. <laughs> any other last remarks or I don't want to give you anything to say anything? Yeah. Well, friends, have y'all been blessed? Like, leave a comment below. Like, if y'all love this to happen again, let us know. Um, but, oh, my gosh. You are going to go so far. Hey, listen. Like, I thank God for your life, your heart, your obedience. Wow. Like, I honor you now publicly because oh, I already know what God's going to do you. for you because you do so much privately. So, um, I just thank God for your heart and your labor of love and your giving heart. And you're just such a free spirit in Christ Jesus. Oh, like, you just you. allow him to work through you. you. You, I mean, this girl is so generous. This girl is so loving. This girl is so beautiful. Like, oh, her, she's thank fine. You. Like, she's all fine, okay? She's all fine, okay? I love her, okay? So, I just thank God for you, and I look forward to what's going to do in your wonderful life. Thank and you. And you guys, when the Holy Spirit 
She don't know how to do this. When the Holy Spirit gives her her platform, and then Listen. when the Holy Spirit uh. gives her her books, her publisher, <laughs> everything, her her ministry, and even her amazing fine husband, I and like everything, I and of course when um the Holy Spirit leads her to her YouTube channel, y'all subscribe to her, support my girl. As soon as Holy Spirit gets her the date when that will be released, I'll have that below for you in the description box. So check her out, subscribe to her, comment, support my girl, encourage her in love, like. Mm -hmm. Cause this is my boo. Like this is Thank my you. life. Girl, life sister. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love her. So I just love it. I mean, you. I thank God for your life, and I know he's gonna do amazing. I mean, he already, he already is doing amazing wow. things in your life, but I know he's gonna do even more because you're gonna go over higher and higher and higher. I believe the same for you. I believe the same for you. I love and honor your life too, and and just a constant like this girl is constantly <laughs> encouraging somebody like you have you ever like noticed like that one person always has a word for everybody that's this thing. <laughs> literally we could be i mean in a in a group and we could just be walking down the street or whatever at pinky promise people you don't even know they're all like yeah, how are you today like i love your shirt i love whatever can i pray with, with you i'm like are you serious do you have a word for everybody it's the lord he makes look y'all <laughs> I don't even know what I had said in this video. Like, people think that yeah, I just woke up. That's like, real. Was like, no, I just let the Holy Spirit just lead. I Same. have no idea what I just said. I watch it back. I'm like, oh, wow. Oh, that was a good choice. Oh, wow. Yeah. God, God used you. Like, Sometimes you preach to yourself. Like, yes. For real. Like, I'll play it back. I'm like, God, I needed that word. You know, like, I'm like, oh, I needed that. Thank you for speaking for me. Because, like, girl, I couldn't have said that by myself. Yes, listen. So, like, Jesus, like, the, the, the field deal hit like that blessed me honey like i need that i'm gonna write in my notes um i want to watch it back i write in my notes like mm -hmm. you know right now because i gotta get these nuggets into here you know Amen. so i uh, hallelujah god you're so good i think you gotta hear glorified because i mean we just we're still wrecked too from yeah this we are like, we That's really are like we're still in awe of the lord just from <laughs> heather Lindsay blessings and just her obedience to the to the body of christ i told um uh, i think it was jawanda and no i know for sure i told kim g and um, dom i was like if there was spiritual insurance we would be wrecked. We would be totaled. Okay, girl, our premiums would be going up girl, and up. And up. I would be paying back stuff for decades, Listen, not years, decades. You know, me too. Like I, girl, mm, girl, this week has been surreal. Like I'm still trying to figure out how we got here. Like me too. We have to go on our flight <laughs> in like a few hours, but we're just letting all the Lord. We're just like letting Him have His way because we, of course. Oh, where the look at Jesus red on time? Hey. Hey. Oh. If you were picking promise, you know. You know. Is, <laughs> but um uh, but yeah, so we we we're just saying, God, like we're so we can have fun. I'm telling you, we are content in your season. You can For have real. fun, like you can For enjoy real. your sister, you can love like Love what God is doing in your life. You can just Real. flow in the spirit. You can just allow him to just move. Like when Molly was in, I had a word for everybody. It's true. It's, it's not that I just like, like God, it's <laughs> God true. don't be like, okay, go to her. Oh. It, it'd be like, we'll be, <laughs> we'll be walking. And like, I legit, y'all, y'all know I love butterflies. I'll be thinking about butterflies the whole day. And I'll be, I'll be, <laughs> girl, I'll be like walking with them and get something to eat. My voice is kind of bad, Jay. Thank you, Jesus. But I walk, you know, with them, get something to eat. And I'll just, you know, be just maundering. I look around. It's, like, beautiful. And then God will just have me to focus my eye on someone. Now, he doesn't give me the name at that current moment. Sometimes he doesn't give me the name. But, like, he'll just have my eye to, like, focus on this one young lady. And um, she'll be, like, enjoying her time with her friends. And on her own business. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll just, you know... When he says go, I'm like, okay. So I go over there. <laughs> and I'm like, hey, girl. Girl, you is all fabulous. Like, you look. But they really do, like, they be looking fabulous. Listen, Pinky Promise Girls know how to dress. Turn period. up for Jesus. Modestly, too. Like, yes. modestly, like, fabulous. Like, you'll see in the video. You'll mm -hmm. see, like. And um, Molly be tickling me because she'd be like, Julissa, you be having a fire about me. <laughs> God just be putting in words in my mouth. Like, I don't, I mean, I never, I have to always be ready. The mm. word of God says, be yeah. ready and, and out of season. And 
it's amazing because when the when the words start, I may say it, I may be like, you know, Molly, and then I'm thinking I'm going to be like, hey, boo, I love you or something. And then out of nowhere, it's like you're going to be a bold mouthpiece for your generation, which is the truth. But it'll just, and, and mm-hmm. then it's more, and then it's more. And some things that, I'm, that he's allowed me to say, I don't really, like, know. It's only for them to have yeah. that relationship with Jesus Christ to know that it's for them specifically. And um, God allows it to be in a public setting, but um, it's just the Lord. Like, I don't take no credit. As soon as God is finished speaking through me, i be like, I pray that bless you because I don't know what I said. Like, I say every yeah, single that's time. Real. That's every real. single time, I'm like, I pray that bless you because, girl, that's I don't real. know what I just said. And they'd be like, you don't? And I'm like, I don't. And they'd be like, everything you said is exactly what I need to hear. Like, exactly what I was thinking about or I was asking God about. or And I'm like, praise the Lord. Because I... Don't look for me, girl. Jesus, that's yeah. why my shirt. Here I am, Sammy. Look, cause I shameless plug. You know, it's my girl shirt. <laughs> but um, yeah, I I just thank the Lord for that gift, cause I, girl, don't look for me. It's all Him, all Jesus. Yeah. But um, God bless y'all for tuning in. I know this was a longer video than you know normal, but it's all for the glory of God. I pray, I pray, bless you guys to hear from this powerhouse over here. So I pray y'all take with you, be content in your season of singleness. Amen to that. Jesus. Jesus name. Bye. Bye guys. Bye.